I'm Alan Kenny, Editorial Director with REIT.com, and I'm in Chicago for REIT Week 2013, near REIT's Investor Forum. Joining me is Paul Kerbo, Portfolio Manager with Invesco Real Estate. Paul, give us an idea, what are some of the sectors that your fund is targeting for investment right now? Well, our fund is really focused more on bottom-up stock selection as opposed to top-down allocation, but we do have views on the individual sectors. Two of the sectors that we like would be the apartment sector and the regional mall sector. Uh, the apartment sector from a growth standpoint and from a valuation standpoint. From a growth on three to five year outlook, um, it has higher than sector average earnings growth. From a valuation standpoint, the apartment sector trades at a discount, not only to other REIT sectors, but also to the underlying private market. Um, so we see value creation there over the long term, both from just internal growth and also from development. Uh, in the regional mall space, it's more a function of scarcity of assets. The regional malls are essentially, in, in terms of the REITs, are, are basically, they own roughly over 50% of all regional malls in the U.S. Uh, when you look at the high quality malls, it's even a higher proportion. So there's a scarcity value, there's a lack of new construction, and the internal growth is higher for regional malls than it is for some of the other sectors. It's been a nice couple of years for REITs in the uh, market. I think there's still room to run for REIT shares? Well, I think you have to look at it in terms of the space market and in terms of the capital markets. In terms of the space market, I think the supply and demand fundamentals are still pretty good. I think we'll see demand outpace supply. That will result in rising occupancy rate, rising rents, uh, rising dividends. So absent an economic shock, I think that's pretty good. In terms of capital markets, I think REITs have benefited from a low economic growth, low interest rate environment. And if that environment changes, then some of the capital flows that we've seen that have been so positive for the REIT sector may ebb a bit. I think it really requires a focus on stock specific, uh, bottom up type investing as opposed to top down allocation where it may not be as positive as it's been over the last several years. One key story that we're going to be talking about six months from now in the REIT sector, something that you're watching. Yeah, you know, the REITs have benefited a lot from that low interest rate environment and so it, that's helped in terms of lowering cap rates, that's helped in terms of refinancing debt. I think more of the focus going forward is going to be on growth, which companies can grow from here. With many of the sectors really at the long-term average for their occupancy rates or really almost close to peak occupancy rates, it's going to be who can grow from rents. And so we're going to be looking at the companies that can grow their rents and also those that can grow from a development or redevelopment standpoint. All right. Well, thanks so much for your time, Paul. Thank, Thank you. you. And for more on this and other REIT news and analysis from REIT Week 2013, be sure to check out REIT.com.